Uh, all righty. The jar. Let's see what we got. Time for some Popeyes. Okay. DNA Helix. Your dino DNA. How many beans? <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Wait a minute. You gotta guess how many beans? You gotta guess the fucking beans? One, two, three, four. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Oh my god. <laughs> How are you supposed to do this? How are you supposed to do this? Uh, fuck it. How many beans? One hundred. And 13 beans. Nope. <laughs> oh my god. All right, count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 3 I give up. It's different every time. I can't. I can't. Uh Hey Mario. That big old 500 pounds some bitch. Bowser just took the damn princess and used all the star power <laughs> to put everybody in paints. Now I need you to take your ass inside those paints. I was counting. And recover the stars. All right, all right. Let's wait. Let's wait. Jumping. What? A little bit of punching. What? And a little bit of ass whooping. Let's try to count. What? To save princess. Ooh, it's it's hard to count like this. Line, Cause Stone Toad said so. One, two, three, four, five. I lost track. It's impossible. <laughs> Good luck with the count bar. You can do it. Uh I just keep guessing why eventually it's gotta be in the hundreds, right? It's gotta be in the hundreds. How many beans? I saw somebody say 107. Nope, not 107. I was getting! <laughs> Pause buffer. You can't, you can't. No pausing. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. I hope this doesn't distract you. Uh, I think I'm recounting stuff. <laughs> I think I'm. I think I'm recounting stuff. Sort by colors. This is such horseshit. Try a hundred. All right, I'll try a hundred. I tried one eleven. Try a hundred. How many beans? Not a hundred. <laughs> there have been 13 green every time. Hmm. You think 113? You think 113? Miss. How many beans? Nope. That was the first I tried. Shusuke, thank you for the bits. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Everyday Taco, thank you for the bits. Uh, MG Ska, thank you for the bits. Kegwin, thanks for the sub. I think you gotta count it. I think you gotta count this. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. 
Um, I have no idea. <laughs> do color? What do you mean do color? How is that going to help you? Try 420. It's definitely not 420. It's in like, I think it's between the like 90 to 120 range around there. You think you're only counting greens? Think you are? Well, like, so are we saying when it says... Uh, only when it says how many beans is asking about green beans like how many green beans are in this is that what it means 27 yellow you got 105 I doubt it means only green it just says how many beans right aren't these all beans 13 green you want to try 13 91 you want to try 91 you got 116 how many beans? What do we want to try here? 13 green. I'll try 13. Nope. <laughs> what if it's zero because they're not beans? I mean, I try zero. I think they're all beans is what I think. I think they're all. I think you got to count them all. Um. All right, let's count them all. We're going to do our best to count them all. One, two, three, four, five. Um, five, six, seven, seven. I think it'd be easier if I did this too. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty. I lost count. <laughs> it's because it's so hard to count because like I I forget what I've counted and what I haven't. It's so hard to count. It's 69. Take a screenshot and tick them off and paint. There are 13 from each color, I guess. Try 13. You think 91? You think 91? All right, let's try 91. I need the envelope for mist. I'll try 91. How many beans? Ninety one. Not ninety one. All right, let's actually count them all. We tried one eleven. We're gonna count them all this time. Count them all. Yeah. We'll try really try here. I got my stupid thing in the way. God damn it. Let's see. Uh, there's no way. <laughs> I'm never going to get this shit. It changes as why. Well. It's no shit, Sherlock. No shit. It changes. Got 116, 116, 114. I, I was doing okay and then I lost track. We think 116. How many beans? Good job. Hey! There we go. Damn. You know, that was a level that uh, chat uh, chat had a big help in actually solving that one. So good job, chat. Good job. Clap it up for yourself. You may as well beat that level yourself. You beat that level yourself. Uh, that was uh, that was an experience. That level was an experience. Yeah, give yourself a little, give yourself a little pat on the back. 
I remember when I was in uh, when I was in Boy. Anybody was anybody here in Boy Scouts when they were a kid? Anybody here in Boy Scouts? Remember in Boy Scouts, I would say, "Give yourself a little round of applause." <laughs> Even when I was like six years old, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> no clue about that? You remember that? They I, they only did that. Even when I was like six, I was like, oh, God. Legume sewers. Uh, Jorgu, thank you for the 13 months. Thank you, Jorgu. Appreciate that. Justin Borton, thanks for 46 months. Sick water, thanks for five minutes. Uh, Orange Monkey, thanks for 21 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Does it give yourself a big hand and hold the hand up? No. I don't think the the second level, that level had a second exit. We did, uh, we did skip some exits, though. What the fucking shit? Ah! You made Eagle Scout. You never saw all that. I stopped at uh, so when 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 I moved from uh, New York to Florida, there were no Boy Scouts in Florida. I think so, or like where we lived, there wasn't any. That's when I left. I think I was a Weebelow. Is that what they're called? Weebelows. There's a Cub Scouts, Wolf Scout, whatever. All that bullshit. I want to say I was a Weebel. <laughs> Like getting alien abducted. Uh, we below, so it's called. It's like uh, corn. You're like a corn stalk. I think it's spelled W E B E L O S. Is that it? It's a it's a real thing. I swear. And they all have like their symbol. The symbol of the we below was a piece of corn. I think. I remember thinking how much cooler it was uh, to be a wolf scout or whatever. <laughs> it's much cooler to be that. <laughs> I could be a wolf scout or I could be a piece of corn. I guess I'll be. I guess I'll be a piece of corn now. <laughs> Not a corn stung. I, I haven't even seen the symbol in a long time. I, I don't even know. I. I, I really. Sex gifts. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't remember much about it, honestly. I really don't remember much about it. Long time ago. Uh, Matty Rue, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. So we have to spin. Yeah. Move faster, pokey. Princess Peach Showtime is getting eight and nine on review sites. Oh my god, I can't believe review sites are giving games eight or nine out of ten. I can't believe that, man. I'm sure they have all kinds of critical thoughts like this this game is such a welcome breath of fresh air. Uh, what an amazing experience. The graphics are quite charming and there's something to find here for all ages. I wonder if they have such generic fucking comments. Finally, Princess Peach has her own game, and man, what an adventure it is. <laughs> Truly inspired, Nintendo has done it again. Kind of shit where it's like written by an AI. Who knows, maybe the game is good. Maybe the game is good, I don't know. I just don't trust the review websites. Maybe the game is awesome. Ah! Is there second game? How did you get your hands on the game early? I just don't trust the review sites, honestly. I'm 
before and after divided into pre-Princess Peach, post-Princess Peach. I hope it's as good as Kirby. Uh, Kirby in the Forgotten Land was one of the one of the best uh, Nintendo Switch games for sure. The game was really good, actually. Okay, I could just stop dying. The midway is right here. No, oh, thank you, beans. The beans giveth and the beans taketh. Ah! God. Green bean door entry. Uh <laughs> great. This is this is psychotic. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can't. Oh, there's. I was like, I can't see the bean. Fun. This act's been a lot of fun, actually. Been having a good time. Why hack no name beans? It kind of is called beans, actually. Kind of is what it's called. I think we can go ahead and definitively say that this is the greatest green bean ROM hack of all time. I think we can say that without a doubt. Move over, Super Riff World. A new bean is in town. Ah, <laughs> oh, I like had it. I had the timing. One of the Romex featuring beans. Nice to see a hack that sticks to themes. Now, right now, we're having a good time. 82 exits later of green beans. Are we going to suddenly never want to see a green bean ever again? Is the real question. <laughs> but of course. How are we going to feel 80? Uh, how are we going to feel? How am I going to feel after 81, 82 exits of green beans? <laughs> Move over Super Mario World ROM hacks. Green beans. Have changed the game. Uh, Katie's made uh, Katie's made bacon wrapped green beans for uh, for Thanksgiving before. Pretty good. Bacon wrapped anything better than the Christmas hack. Uh, Naughty World was uh, a frustrating experience for sure. No question. Very frustrating. Most consistent and loved Super Mario World mechanic. I feel like this hack does show like something like green beans. Like look at how like with a lot of skill, obviously, and, and can do attitude. Like you can really make some really cool stuff even with like the worst sprites, you know? 
Not that green beans are honestly, they're not all that bad, but. Dude, I've done that twice now. What's up, Colorless Blue? How are you? Good afternoon. Is it noon? Nope, not quite noon yet. Chop off the bean! Jump off the bean! Oh, bean jar was unique. <laughs> no, come on! Hopefully that can do as well carry through 86 exits. Uh, that mole jump is uh, giving me some trouble. Uh, yeah, new jump team hack. It's been uh, it's been really fun so far. And that time I, I got the mole jump finally, but I timed it wrong. <laughs> Oodles of new bulls. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, man. Oops. You were offered a speaking session university, whatever happened with that. Uh, I'm probably not doing it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. A lot of you, you'd probably be surprised by a lot of the things that get offered, but I don't do. There's just one that um, I'm almost certain it's not going to happen. I'm like 90% sure, but it's for a movie role. <laughs> I'm like 99% sure it's not happening. <laughs> Bro, do it. Ah, I don't know, man. The whale too. It's funny. SAG awards. Yeah. Yeah, they want me to play. Uh, I'll be playing Paul Atreides in Dune Power. Three. <laughs> they want me. They're tired of. They're tired of Timothy Charlemagne, and they want. They want somebody new. Coming in to play. Uh, coming in to play Paul. <laughs> Damn it. That's how Timothy Charmander got started. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. You sound like Gaib. As it is written. Ah, come on. Uh, the remake of The Wizard. Uh, Shusuke, thank you for the 500 bits. Thank you, Shusuke. Appreciate that. 
do the movie you coward i mean a lot of things it's it's a question of like is it worth it is it something i like actually want to do you know i don't know man i'm not sure we'll see probably not i think i have uh, i have to organize the meeting we haven't even had the meeting yet so A philosophy I think that has actually helped me a lot in life is saying no to everything. <laughs> That's actually helped me a lot. You should say no more often than you should say yes, I think. I think no a lot. Help me out. My default is no. Fuck you. No. You know yourself bad. Yeah, I'm more of a no guy than a yes guy. Oh, joy. <laughs> oh, happiest of days. You like a high Koopa. There you go. GG. That was a cool level. That was a cool one. This philosophy of rejecting things and ignoring emails. Doing nothing is a really good strat, I find. Do nothing. Do as little, or maybe rather do as little as possible. <laughs> do as little as possible. Uh, This is Latin? Latin? Or is it, no, Italian? Italian. Legumi marquesenti non sono proprio quello che si intende per dieta mediterranea. Massaggiandos il ventre brontolante, il prode idraulico, quindi uschi a rivedere la stelle. Gorlami. <laughs> By squirrely man, okay. Perfect. Banned in Italy. 100% correct. Kavik somewhere just felt a great disturbance in the force. <laughs> George. To legume deaths. Mother-in-law's tongue. Go back the other way. <laughs> I think we might be going back the other way. <laughs> I don't want to go that way anymore. Uh... Being and non-being. Go back the other way. Uh, did I beat Mario's Missing? I did not beat Mario's Missing. Kevin M. Italian. Is Kevin M. Italian? I had no idea. Did not know that. L. R. Fair. L. Dominic DeCoco. Simple as. What's up, Kiavik? How's it going? Now you want to watch Inglorious Bastard? I haven't seen that movie in a long time. It's been a while. You just turned 40. Now, congratulations, man. Happy birthday. Ah. 
Is Kiavik Italian? Uh, no, he's actually German. What, what? If, if somebody, if you were to confuse an Italian, like, or would you say he's Greek? I'm trying to, like, what's the most, uh, what's the fast way to offend an Italian? Say, I think he's Greek. I don't know, I don't know how to. <laughs> how would I offend an Italian? French, is that it? Pasta sucks, tell them they're French. <laughs> he's American. Here we go. There's always got to be some asshole in the chat. I, unfortunately, this is the Eye of Sauron, and I see the assholes. Nobody wants to be French, Keck W, and tell a Sicilian looks like a Northern Italian. Why? Why? Why so many things I don't know about other countries. There's always got to be somebody. Happy birthday, Kiavik. I hope it's a good one, man. French would be the most offensive for an Italian. Okay, gotcha. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Ow. Orby, thank you for the tier three. Really appreciate it. As a French, I agree. Uh, thank you very much, Orby, for the tier three. Unholy land. Sean, we've, we've crossed into the unholy land. Uh, Traitorous Al, thank you for the 26 months. Thank you very much. Good morning. Oh! No! Uh, Zen Gamer, thank you for the 35 months. Thank you, Zen Gamer. Damn it, dude. Uh, I'll be there first week of May. When are you going? Are you going to Italy? I didn't know what to do. I panicked. I wasn't thinking with beans. I just ran, I ran out of beans. And there was no beans above. mid-june oh. uh, i think i have to i'm not sure i think i have to stall there uh until uh until the koopa is where i can land on him i think i think that's what i do but i'm not sure damn it Still thinking about the jar level. If you don't get a really big jump off that, you don't you don't make it. Uh, hey Diabolos, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Sounds fun but exhausting. Paris sucks. Don't waste your time. Oh, there's got to be a lot, a lot to see in Paris, though, right? Come on. Nothing else, just the museums. Go to Olive Garden. Paris rules. Yeah, there's got to be some stuff to see in Paris, right? Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't believe that at all. I guess you can go look at the tower while you smell feces. I mean, like, I, I have heard that, I mean, a lot of, a lot of cities, uh, smell like either piss, shit, or both. I feel like that's almost all cities, though. Lots of cities smell like piss or shit, or both. Yeah. 
New York City smells like trash. The smell of garbage in the sun does really remind me of New York. Reminds me of my childhood. Smelling garbage that's been like baking in the sun. I've died a couple a couple times there. Dirtier the city, the more romantic it is. That's the city life. I live in a sketchy Canadian city all my life. It's awesome. Nola smell, so it must be nose blind to city smell. I've been uh I've been to the worst funny cities according to the internet and never had a problem. How does this switch work? Uh if I press L or R, it swaps the beans from one side to the other. That's all it is. Well, I, I feel like people have these, like, weird idealized, uh, like, visions of what a city should be like. And they get, like, weirdly jilted when it's, like, you know, like, cities have, cities have, like, flaws. And they're, they're, like, city is more like a warty, kind of imperfect, like, people still live there and, like, you know, like, I don't know. There's like weird ideas of what being in a city is actually supposed to be like. It's because people like romanticize and like fantasize about what it's going to be like. And then if it's not perfect, then it's like, oh, disgusting. Why do I keep dying there? Uh, Walrus, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, I grew up in the Hartsdale White Plains areas where I grew up in. And then I, I moved out at one point. I moved out when I was going to middle school. Around middle school time. I can't figure this out anymore. Grew up in Queens. Paris syndrome. I grew up in the Hudson City. My graduating class had 26 people. That's a that's a small class, man. Holy crap. Are you sure you just didn't live in a really stupid area? <laughs> I mean, everybody was just really dumb. <laughs> White Plains had a glow up in the past 10 years. It's fun to, uh, it's fun to look at pictures of, like where I grew up as a kid. If I, if I Google for like White Plains and like, like that area, like I'm like, I remember that place. I remember that place. It's kind of cool to do that. Your dad lives in there. White Plains in the 90s was so different now from what it was. It's a nice area. The malls are going to close, though. I remember going to those malls a lot as a kid with my mom. Oh, boy. Small town I lived in, I had the biggest class at the time of 35 that graduated. I'm supposed to be spinning. I think. Yeesh. Yeesh, that's fucked up. Oh, that's really fucked. Oh, uh, did uh, V-Sweat beat Bowser yet in Grand Portal 3? Did he beat... Uh... Ah! I 
Anybody watching that? Where's that 500 pound son of a bitch? We had 2,900 kids in my house. So that's a big high school, man. I don't even know what my graduating class was. I have no idea. Okay, so. I can't really see everything here. Oh, he gave up for that. Oh, okay, gotcha. He'll get it soon. He'll get it. He'll figure it out. Ah, oh, come on, asshole. Is the Mario Maker effort done? Um, I think there is one more level still. I think one more level still. Yeah, it was a level. Yeah, I tried that level for like 10 seconds and I was like, this is awful. <laughs> I stopped. <laughs> uh, he's on uh, steroids Bowser, not dry Bowser. Excuse my ass. Excuse my ass. Is it impossible? To, no, I have to be able to jump off the green bean there. Excuse my ass. I think it's task tools uh, didn't even exist when it was uploaded. So either it was hacked or actually a god player. Uh, are you do you, are you mean like uh, the creator may have hacked to to upload it? I I don't believe that. I don't think so. Is that what you're saying? My ass excuse. I don't think that. People think that, but there's no evidence. I mean, I'd say like, I don't think so, but at the same time, like I'm constantly surprised at what people, at what people will do. But I, I still, I'm gonna say, I don't think so. The evidence is there's no way the uploader is that good. But here's the thing is that that guy is actually really good. Ahoyu, right? That's his name. Cause he made that like insane level, right? Uh, Bombs five. Did he? Did he ever? He beat and upload Bombs five, right? That guy actually is that good. Um, for one. There's an old ass clear video from like seven years. So he beat it. But he did beat that level, and that level, if you've never seen Bombs 5... Where am I going, shit? I don't see where I was going! On top of that... On top of that... It could also just be, like, jank and inconsistent and, like, like, fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, so maybe it's, like, jank, inconsistent, and it's, like, such a particular set of inputs that it seems like it doesn't make sense, but it made sense to him when he made it, right? So, like... Nobody's saying, but basically what I'm saying is that it doesn't have to be a good level, you know? <laughs> it doesn't have to be necessarily a good level. Remember hearing that there might be some inconsistencies in the level based on, like, your spawns and stuff, too? It's probably exactly that. Right, right. Was that platform there last time? Oh, was that platform there last time? I don't know if it was. The people that can't do it are mad because bad. Um, I don't know. They just, uh, they just like, I, well, I can't remember if it was or not. Jank Whisperer. I, I don't necessarily think that it I, I don't have any evidence and unless unless there's like some kind of proof or something uh, I don't see why 
the assumption should be that this person cheated. I, I don't think he cheated. Besides, of all the levels, like you think he planned, how long ago was this level uploaded, by the way? How long ago was this level uploaded? Seven years ago? Seven years ago, his plan was when Mario Maker's about to close down, when I am going to make this level and nobody's gonna be able to beat it and it's gonna be the last level, like, I, I, was he playing chess this whole time? I don't fucking buy that shit. I think it's just a really fucked up particular level that is uh, probably a little bit jank and gonna be gonna be really difficult to get consistently. Okay, so I ha oh my god, so I have to spin through this and activate it like like this. I have to like turn it off. God, fast fingers. They want to beat Lucky Draw. Yeah, people beat that one too. People beat that too. The circumstances surrounding its existence are peculiar. In what regard? What's how is it? What what's why is the existence curious? I mean, I have seen people like getting I have seen people literally getting better at it. Like I saw one dude yesterday who was kind of making the tower somewhat consistently. Like at the very end of it, it was uploaded during a full moon. I have seen people kind of getting it. Remember to upload it, the guy only had to get it once, right? It's not like he got it like a hundred times in a row. He got it once. He probably got it once, never touched it again. and was like, good. <laughs> and then that was it. And now everybody forgot about it because nobody wanted to play it for years. People have a good conspiracy. I'm not buying the conspiracy theory on this one. I'm not buying it. Put your console on a hot people look look into things. Yeah, yeah, it looks just right, right. Yeah, I think it's just really hard and it's probably it's probably not something you can get consistently. You know? It's just really difficult. What's up, uh, that? How are you? It was planted by Nintendo. I don't think Barb made Grand Pooled. That's, uh, that's quite a conspiracy theory there. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> the, the charm of this level is wearing off on me very quickly. <laughs> Does every level have green beans? Uh, I think every level has had some kind of green bean in some fashion or another, yeah. I am deeply concerned about Grand Pool 3. Me too, man. Prime sub not auto renewing is so goddamn annoying. You can actually retry this quite a lot. LR. 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 That's what you gotta press. LR. <gasps> no! Uh, back for Gab, thank you for the 49 months. Markup, thank you for the 40 months. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. It's an Amazon doesn't want you to use it every month. Retry this. I am posting this on my alt account for fear of community backlash. I wonder who that person was. I do wonder who that person was in the end.
They later, uh, they later recant and they're like, oh man, it's amazing. It was Boo's composer. <laughs> they later like recanted and they were like, oh, Grand Portal 3 was great. I loved it. It was awesome. I was wrong about it. It was like, what was he saying? That everything looks so easy and all looks like it's going to be such an easy hack. That's not very good. Uh, is Neo 2 happening today? Grand Pool 2 was the hack. Uninspired, yeah. Oh boy, I don't like that jump. wasn't woke enough like you were hating making it you lo i looked like i was hating making grand pool 3 really i mean it was definitely like really weighing on me the kind of con what what the fuck it was kind of weighing on me the constant you know Sir, where is it I'm when is it coming test. out what's going on man. i feel like you can understand why it was like really weighing on me after a while, you know? Not not to mention my, um... Oh, the cats of the count. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I'm not, like, you know. Um... It was definitely really weighing on me as time went on. That that had to be a yeah, morsel. There you go. <laughs> that was a good level, though. That was good. Uh, getting hacked up before the birth of my daughter was really stressful. It was a lot, man. It was a lot. And, um... Yeah, I don't... That's never gonna happen again, I think. <laughs> Ones you're clearly not having a good time with it. Well, yeah, it's just, I was just fatigued. It's been like almost four years working on it, man. Too much. It's like the scope just goes beyond. I don't know. Like at some point making stuff stop being quite as fun for me anymore. So, uh, cool sand waterfall. When is Panga doing Dram 3? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, thank you, Bonky, for the 35 month uh, markup. Thank you for 40 months. Thank you very much. Really appreciate that. Uh, are we doing an extension to Mario Week? No, we're just back to a regularly scheduled program where I will occasionally play Mario when I feel like it, so. You are posting this on your main account, Dram3 soon. Yeah, I, I think he said he was working on it, so, you know, we'll see. Don't rush the man, let the man, give the man his time. I'm in the baby making business now. All right, let's see. Mother-in-law's tongue. Let's go see what this level was. That is a really big green bean. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> is that a fucking green bean snake? Oh, it is. Oh god. What hath god wrought? <laughs> what is this? No! God has no play. That's a godless hack. <laughs> this hack's been really cool so far. I'm, I'm having a really good time with this so far. Very fun. Yeah, for, for a hack dedicated solely to green beans, it is uh, surprisingly really... Really well made with really good levels so far. Like without the whole like, like there's been tough levels. There's been really challenging levels, but you don't get the sense that like, they're like gleefully fucking with you and like giving you something like really spammy or, or I don't know. It seems like the hack has kind of like its hearts in the right place. Can't really say the same about like Naughty World and you know, I don't know. Hard to quantify, I guess. Damn it. Uh, Jardo, thanks for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
there were some cool levels in Naughty World for sure, but like occasionally Naughty World would just felt like like really fucking mean, like just really mean to the player, and you you, you wonder why, <laughs> why. But I, either way, I'm I'm glad I've uh, I'm glad I've played this so far. It's been very fun. Uh, Scene Wolf, thank you for the 44 months. Thank you, Bye, Scene Wolf. Right. How many exits in? Uh, I haven't checked in a while. I'm, I'm not. I'm not counting. <laughs> Don't tell me on the title screen. Damn, that part's awkward. Uh, Scene Wolf, thank you for the 44 months. Thank you very much. Those levels in Naughty World Cat that were like the background was like like doom flesh and like the music was like bah, bah, bah. like you remember those levels and like all the sprites look so bad and then and then they did that like five times in Naughty you guys remember that shit was it like it was like Santa Claus fucks your mom or some shit What the fuck am I playing right now? That Homer Simpson level was pretty miserable. Oh, we're done. Oh. Wow, that was the name of the level, man. What do you want from me? I, I don't, I don't, maybe it was Santa Claus fucks your mom. I can't remember. That sounds like a level that would be in Naughty World, honestly. Hey, cool. There were some, uh, there were some cool levels in Naughty World, though. There were still, like, there were still a couple of diamonds in the rough right there. There were some cool levels. Oh, yeah, there was, like, a, wasn't there a setup in the Pokey level that, like, you, I could, the only thing I could do was, like, a key jump or something. It, like, didn't make any sense. Oh. Oh. Oh, is it a loop here? Oh, okay. Oh, God. The Bowser's Castle playlist. That was pretty funny. Um, okay, we have the cape. Now what? Now we can go a little uh, confusing. Now I can go that way, I think. I think maybe we're uh, supposed to fly here. Ah. Oh no! Come on! The shy halu beam has this hack been a lot better? This hack's been very fun so far. I'm having a really good time with this hack so far. Having fun. And a couple of uh, a couple of really really cool levels so far. 
and none of the levels have been like there was one level that was like a little bit longer than than it probably should have been and there was one level that was a bit i found a bit frustrating but overall it's it's been it's been fine and not lose the cape So far, who would have thought a hack made out of beans would actually, a pure green bean hack would actually be good. I think uh, inspiration, effort, uh, play testing, they all go a long way, man. It's hard to make levels that everyone enjoys. That is also true. That is also true. Not everybody's gonna enjoy every level. Uh, did I do something wrong? Oh, I did. I'm brain fart. There we go. Brain fart. There we go. Because this is going to... Where am I going? Here? Ooh. Shit. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, uh oh. Um, uh, I think we're going to be okay. Oh, okay. It's a vertical level. Never mind. Did you? I'm making diamonds. That was a really cool level. That was really cool. Another great level. Let me know what song that was. I don't know, man. I don't know. That was a really cool level. Yeah, the zero zero is just the green bean. Yeah, that's it. That's that's what it is. The the, the the title itself is a green bean. I am clapping cheeks. Oh man, dude, Barb, you are clapping cheeks at this hack, dude. Yeah, that's cool. One. Been overthinking it. Stole this from Grand Pool 3. Well, I stole it from SW Central, so it's all it's all we're all stealing. They grow from vanilla orchard orchids. Orchid orchids? Orchids. Right? Ow. Three out of five green bean difficulty. Um all right, all right, Kavik, just a little, a little far, a, a little, a little much, Kavik. Did you beat Neo 1 and 2 recently? Uh, I beat Neo 1 last night, and we started up Neo 2 right after. Okay, I think we just stand here. And then there we go, that's much better. Whoa, whoa. The French are in. All right, all right, enough with the enough with the insulting. Listen, listen, Europeans, enough with insulting each other. All right, listen, we kicked your asses in World War One and Two. Get over yourselves. All right, America is the best. We win, USA. All right, just get over it. We don't want to hear more from Europe right now. America wins. The end. Up fighting amongst each other. Chills. <laughs> sure you did. Holy based. 
see a coin and a throw a coin. And, what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Uh, well, I guess we'll never know. Secret exit? True American patriot. Last thing I need, some people have been offended before in Discord, been like, people are being so mean to my country. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hear this shit. I don't wanna hear it. Shut the fuck up already. What was that? I don't know what that was. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a mushroom? God damn it. It was a mushroom. That's the most complex mushroom, get a mushroom setup I've ever seen. Humans are eyes and are vermin in the eyes of Morbo. It's not expecting a Kaizo block in this hack, but uh, uh, uh. A gaming release that is uh, a gaming release is called Squirrel with a Gun. I think I've heard the name, but I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. X W me enjoy. Do we ever hear anything else about uh, Phantom Blade Zero? Because that game looked really rad to me. Anything else about that game? No, that's a bummer. Uh, yeah, I'm having a lot of... This hack has been very fun so far. It's been very fun. Not since you last heard from it. Probably not a good sign. You're going to play Stellar Blade? Uh, you know, I didn't... I did not see the preview for Stellar Blade. Is it... Does Stellar Blade look good? Does it look good? What game is that? It's called the uh, Phantom Blade Zero. Phantom Blade Zero. I thought Phantom Blade looked awesome. I thought that game looked awesome from the preview, but... Let's see. <laughs> All right. Nakey, well, he'll probably be in his... He'll probably be in his chair soon. I wasn't sure if he was going in his, in his chair or not. Too good to be true. It looks like a wait and see game. Yeah, it might not. Uh... Who knows on that game? Son of a bitch. What do you want from me, man? <laughs> a lot of cool concepts in these levels. I completely agree. I completely agree with you. It's been very fun so far. Cool concepts, well made. Um, it's been a lot of fun so far. All 
Probably uh, harder than it looks. I'm in a pretty challenging hack. Damn it, dude. Beans are a thing to get used to. Uh, that is definitely the case. Hang on. There we go. There'd be a demo for Phantom Blade Zero in 2024. I hope that game is good. It looked, the preview looked awesome. Damn, dude. Uh, Brucey, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you, Brucey. For some reason, I can't get that. I think there's someone with a, with, uh, a few ROM hacks play could beat this. Well, I haven't beat it myself, so I don't know. Um, I'd say that this hack has been uh, fairly difficult so far. Definitely not an easy hack. You know, you're looking at. So yeah, I haven't seen Stellar Blade. I don't know what Stellar Blade is. What's Stellar? What's uh? What's Stellar Blade? Oh shit. Uh, Booba. It's a Korean game with giant asses. <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> You had my interest, now you have my attention. <laughs> and Jiggle Physics? Sold. Gee, that game sounds awesome. I wonder why, Twitch chat. Oh, I think I need to hit that. I wonder what it is. What is it would you say you see in that game, chat? Disgusting. Oh, yeah, but the combat looks great. Yeah, I remember they showed some combat, right? Play the horny booba booba root to get punished. Oof. Okay, so from there, then we switch to a spin. Oh, look at that fucking skill to save it right there. My god. Combat looks like Bayonetta. That was some fucking skill, man. That's you need the mushroom there for the damage boost. Oh, uh, what the fuck is going on over there? Uh, I have no idea. Music is good. I think Lies of P makes me uh, pretty interested in the future of uh, Souls likes. Like, I think to me, Lies of P uh, shows that there's a lot of innovation to be had with the formula in terms of both, like, story and mechanics and bosses and world building. And if more devs, like, if if the studio that made Lies of P can... It's like, wasn't it Lies of P was their first game? If they can do so fucking well with their very first attempt, I feel like we're going to get a lot of... Uh, we're going to get a lot of cool games in that genre in the future. Okay, now. I guess that's like, is that a, you have to take damage there? Is that what that is? I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little unsure what to do right there. 
Wukong might be next. Yeah, hopefully that one's good. What about the surge that have a future? It has a future in the fucking trash. Liza P is a rhythm game and changed your life. Are they making a Surge 3? Are they actually? The Surge 2 was so stupid, man. The game sucked so bad. Okay, I still have not figured out what to do here. I think you underestimate the Surge. Everyone sees something in Liza P that I do not. How far did you get into it? Do I have an interest in Dragon's Dogma 2? Uh, I might be playing that this coming Saturday or Friday, excuse me. I might, I wanna play that and I wanna play Rise of the Ronin. I thought maybe get P-Speed. I think I'm missing something there. I think there's like something I need to do. Can you duck jump? Well, what if I'm small Mario? Then it's not gonna do anything for me. Right here, I don't know what to do. Uh, any ideas? Any ideas here? Like you gotta do some shit like that. That's fucked. That's fucked up, actually. <laughs> That's kind of fucked up. That's cool. Uh, I I actually did run with with P speed. I didn't make it to the end. I didn't make it. I I think you probably could damage boost that. I don't want to like figure out what I'm supposed to do. Ah, uh, well. Oh, that's so fucked up. That's some fucked up. That's really creative. That's that's a really creative fucked up I obstacle, six man. And a half hours. Anything I should have done before that. That's some fucked up creativity there. Uh, hey, Cash Nats, thank you for the 16 months. Thank you very much. Anything you should do when you turn 30? I don't know, man. I haven't, like, I haven't celebrated a birthday in so long. I don't know, man. I'm sorry, after you turn 21, I don't think anybody cares anymore. Is that, that beyond that point? Sob. Gamble everything? Probably not. Do that. Whoa, okay. Um kinda can't see. Those really lucky guesses on that one, man. Uh Eat the urchins? No. There's a moon in there. I think it's like an optional thing. Hmm. Oh, did I need to have like the mushroom? If I had the mushroom, I guess I could have broken this or something. Oh, I must have needed the mushroom. Oh. Well. Uh, drummer man. Thank you for the 36 months. Thank you, drummer man. Appreciate that. 
Yeah, something like that. I'm sorry, Thirsty, and all I want is for people to leave me alone. I haven't celebrated a birthday in a long time. I haven't done shit for it. All right, that was a cool level. That was another cool level. Enjoyed that one. Fun. It's, it's really is amazing how much they were able to do with, with green beans. Really amazing. Eche homo qui est faba. Something man is when man is something. I don't know. Isn't, but it, are not faba beans? Is Latin, how do you say bean in Latin? Is it faba? It'd be faba, right? Uh, random geekly, thank you for the 71 months. Do you write, is that actually how you say bean in Latin? Wait, is a faba bean a bean bean? <laughs> Arva? Faba beans? I don't know. <laughs> uh, random geekly, thanks for the sub. Drummer man, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you guys. What if uh, maybe start celebrating my birthday when we had kids and my kids want to give me cake and gifts? Yeah, see that, that I would agree with. That I would agree with. So, leads to the YouTube video. Faba, faba, the magical fruit. All right, let's see what we got. Behold the man who is Bean. What What is waiting for me in here? Oh my god. So when I'm in the light, I become a bean. <laughs> when I'm in the light, I am a bean. Jump team. I missed you guys so much, man. I really missed you guys. I missed you guys a lot. <laughs> I, mi I missed you when you weren't doing lava lotuses and chucks and and Santa Claus, Santa Claus's explosion. I miss you guys. The Simpsons, Paya, the Simpsons, Homer Simpson. We're on a tight timer on this level. We gotta beware. Beware. Eesh. This hack's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun so far. I'm having a good time. The Piper Dog. Where am I? I had to say it. Now, here the lava lotus is. No! Had to say something. I, I know. I summoned them. Now, the question is how tight is the timer? chance of returning books uh in the book club thunderdome like basically like a book was there and it didn't win and it could come back uh yes that is always a possibility hmm. has to be a mr bean in the sack somewhere played ace bo eight books with the same book i try to have mostly new stuff in the book club though but that said uh there are some books that i absolutely want to read at some point it was that graphic novel it was like an alan moore graphic novel about jack the ripper uh that one looked awesome to me i really want to read that one that's a fucked up jump Oh, yeah, yeah, I really want to read that one. It's a great comic book. Ah, 
Ah, man, that's one, that's fucked. Lord of the Rings from Silence. That's that's like a fan fiction. It's like a a Russian fan fiction. I don't think I'm gonna do that one, man. Uh, this act's been a lot of fun. Having a really good time with it. Damn it. Have you read Slaughterhouse 5? Uh, no, I've never read, uh, I don't think I've ever read any Vonnegut's. Never read any Kurt Vonnegut. You're not missing much. I was giving you PTSD. What's the song from? From Final Fantasy IV. So, like, why is it? Why would it give you PTSD? Was it like a, a hard boss fight or something? Fight with the four fiends because they're shit gamers. Meat's calling you guys out. Every once in a while, you're going to run into a Final Fantasy player like me. get him meats has to feel alive somehow is it like a hard fight or something uh i don't know how to get past that <laughs> i'm flailing over there uh the light turns you into a green bean man You miss that emote? What emote? Dude. Is the book club hosted somewhere? Uh, so right now we're between books. Um, last We did book club a couple weeks ago. And uh, the last book was uh, Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk. And we haven't voted on what the next book is going to be. Haven't done it yet. Uh, that, I think that's it. Some of us play 14 and want to avoid spoilers. You're so glad another book club's coming up. You can't wait for the next book. Yeah, I've got the... The books are all selected. Uh, now it's a question of... Um, of just voting. You can do that anytime. You can do it right this very second if I wanted to. Man, that part, I cannot get that part. When the hype, I'll do it when the hype train ends. There you go. Uh, Tudor, thank you for 36 months. Thank you, Tudor. Any new genres in the list? Genre is always kind of hard because I want to mix it up, but like uh, then you start getting like uh, you know, it starts to get harder when you want to include more genres.
Like, at what point do you get, like, hyper-specific on the actual genre, right? Uh, thank you, Tudor. Heck, fucking excuse me? Oh my god, that was bullshit. What genre do I like? Uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, fantasy and science fiction, typically. And that's, that's probably my favorite genre. I have a very soft spot for fantasy, even bad fantasy, even, even like really bad fantasy. I got a soft spot for it. Ah. How do you join the book club? Uh, well, there's no like official joining, like something like that. Um, you, you can just, anybody's welcome to kind of jump in. We usually just, we, we vote on the book. And then we usually give it like three weeks Two or so for people to read it. May and then we just have more. a discussion. Cheers for the great content. And that's pretty much it. There's no like formal membership or something, you know. There's no entry fee, nothing like that. How do you quit the book club? You just don't read the book. hard man I don't know what to do fourth wing by Rebecca Yeros is pretty tight so far Uh, Flatjack, thank you for the sub. Diagnosy, thank you for the sub. Okay, I keep dying here. So in the middle, you can no longer spin. You can't spin anymore. Don't read it. It's terrible trash. What are you talking about? This is, yeah, this is uh, this is tough for sure. We're getting it. What are your top book? Um, might be a pretty long list of my favorite books. Now, um. I think Lord of the Rings would have to be on there for sure. I love Lord of the Rings. Um, one of my favorite books of all time for sure. Less so The Hobbit, but I'm a huge fan of like Fellowship, Two Towers, Return of the King. Uh, I also love the Prince of Nothing uh, series. Uh, R. Scott Baker, one of my one of my favorites also. Not a lot of, not too many R. Scott Baker fans out there, but I have read Snow Crash. I really like Snow Crash. I haven't read that in a long time. am I doing there? <laughs> I don't know what to do. One book I've recommended to people a lot over the years is uh, Joe Haldeman, The Forever War. Uh, I love The Forever War. I've, I've recommended that book a ton. We're getting better at that. Yeah, that's a great book. Nice recommend. I also am a big fan of uh, Richard Matheson, um, like Duel and his short stories and I Am Legend. Uh, I like Richard Matheson quite a lot. Uh, big fan of uh, Philip K. Dick also.
Daphne Pierce Brown. Uh, the Southern Reach Trilogy Annihilation. No, I haven't. Okay, so I think what I gotta do is I gotta follow the left fire bar. I am running out of time. A lot of time to think about it. No! God, this level's so fucked up, man. <laughs> I'm here I'm here chatting about books. I'm running out of fucking time, man. I gotta go. Yeah, I don't I dude, I don't know. This level seems really tough, man. I don't know what to do there. Let's go figure it out. <sighs> so fucked up dude how many difficulty beans with this uh i don't remember i don't remember uh yeah this is pretty fun so far this whole hack's been pretty fun Like, right there, like, right... I want to go then is when I want to go. I keep jumping right into the saw overhead, though. God damn it. Is this harder than jump path? I would say so far from what I've seen, yeah, it's harder than jump path. So far, yeah. I, I really got to figure out like a better way to do this. Let's get back from a job interview. Thoughts on the hacks? What's the force path? Uh, hacks been a lot of fun so far. Been fun. Ah. Damn it, dude. Barb interview trick. <laughs> it wasn't a trick. It was a theory. It was a theory that maybe. I can't even get in. Ah, and that part. So I have Damn, to like somehow really make it the option to prime sub now. Anyway, take my Bessel box. 
the storm count. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. God damn it. This is so fucked up. God damn it. Storm count. Thank you for 43 months. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. God damn. Motherfucker. Are you luge? Barg, are you luge? Dude. Ah. Wait till it swings the other way. All right, this fucking part. I don't know what to do with this fucking part, man. I feel like that was really I almost killed the Resnor and then fell in the lava too. That would have been fucked. <laughs> that was a really cool level. That was a really cool level. Uh ex quo etium Pythagoras interdictum putatur nefaba vescurentur quad habit infletionum magnum is quibus tranquillitati. Mentis quarentis vera contrarium. There was no checkpoint. I don't think there was a checkpoint. Uh, morsel vibes. Klaatu. Barada. <laughs> Everybody speak Latin. <laughs> I think it says, give me your Twitch Prime subs. I said the words. <laughs> Bean adventures. Baba mentioned. Good lord, I don't speak Latinese. There's also Pythagoras prohibited them. Uh, it is thought that the beans that they were fed, which he has great action, the food was carried away the mind of the seeker. So it's just like, is it just like Google Translate nonsense? <laughs> it's just like uh, Eric, thank you for the 52 months. Jeb Jealous, thank you for the 20 months. Appreciate that. Uh, Strix Lord, thank you for 25 months. Wow, looks like it actually worked out. Give me your Twitch Primes. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Jimmy Ray, thank you for the 12 months. Ah. Stupocalypse, thank you for the sub. Uh, Mr. Cope, thank you for the sub. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Who said Latin's a dead language? Oh, somebody wanted to see how many exits we have. Let's, oh, hang on. Now, one second. Oh, God. What the fucking nonsense is this? We just saved. Uh, oh, I, I, you know what? I'm used to, I'm used to pressing select and then something else happens. Let's see. How many eggs are we at right now? Uh, Mr. Cope, thank you for the sub. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. 17 exits. So we're going uh, a decent pace. It's been pretty tough, though. It's been pretty tough. 
Uh, Airplane, thank you for the 23 months. Deedly Dude, thank you for 42 months. You mean you asked for subs and it happened? Shock. I, wa I, I wasn't asking for subs. I was demanding. I wasn't asking for your subs. I'm demanding your subs. I am Yoda. once again demanding your subs. Uh, Kratilos, thank you for the 23 months. Vaping Jeep Dude, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you very much. I better do what he says. <laughs> Sub now. <laughs> Access denied. It's very eerie when you look right into the camera. Mulberry Con. Thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, Mulberry Con. Galactic Void. Thank you for the 19 months. Thank you very much. Okay, fine. I will meet your demands. <laughs> your king demands. Uh, Galactic Void. Thanks so much for the 19 months. Mulberry Khan, thanks for five gift subs. Lembus Bagel, thank you for the 71 months. Thank you very much. I only sub for books. When I, I feel like the book club has become particularly riotous and, and they're they're get they got their pitchforks, then we'll do the book club voting. It seems like they're they're mostly pretty chill right now. They're mostly pretty chill. We'll see if they get a little riotous. Uh Eli Consider Luke, thank you for the sub. Uh Joe Rawls, thank you for the sub. Bow down to Connie. Thank you for the 32 months. Saucy the dinosaur. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. We're just polite. A bunch of polite book readers. <laughs> Me want book. You know, I, I for all the writing I'm seeing in the chat right now, I don't know how you guys are actually going to read the book club book. <laughs> all right. Bean Adventures. Let's see what we got. I am a bean. Wait, I get stuck to things? <laughs> you like stick to stuff? Oh, clap. <laughs> oh no, I lost some bean HP. This is really cool. This is really cool. Uh, it raised my HP to th I got three beans of HP. What do you mean? You know, the, the, with the air control, it almost feels uh, super Meat Boy-esque. Reminds me a little bit of Super Meat Boy. Ah, uh, this hack's been a ton of fun. This hack's been a ton of fun. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's a spiky football. Don't fucking pierce my bean, bitch. Oh God. Oh God, dude, I can't. <laughs> oh man, I'm a bean on an adventure. Uh, Oracle, thank you for the 38 months. Thank you, Alex, appreciate some. No, no, I think I just kept missing and you're, you're so sticky as the bean. This is, this is one, this is one sticky ass bean. I've been waiting for this hack my whole life. Yeah, freaking how you're that's not uh a number of people were saying this is like your dream hack. <laughs> that's, that's been a, a frequent comment all day. <laughs> How's it going, man? Oh god, 
out. Look at these bean moves. This looks ridiculous. Been a really cool hack so far. Actually been really awesome. Murder fo I didn't even see the text last time. Murder football. No. Oh god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh, it's still coming after me. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, the jumping physics and riding a disco shell. It's like I've never ridden a disco shell before. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. Hey, thank you guys for the hype train. This is dumb, but it looks fun. Uh, this level is dumb. Uh, I this level's cool. Maybe I'm just really forgiving because it doesn't feel like this hack is like out to harm me. It feels like, hey, you want to have a good time? You know what? I do want to have a good time. I would like to have a good time playing a jump team hack. A nice visit. Oh, cute outfit. Just woke up from a nap. We don't look like clowns anymore today. <laughs> baby, hi, baby. Hi, 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 though. Hi, baby. Hi, <laughs> babies must find my face very funny. That guy looks funny. When did my stream get so wholesome? Fuck you, bitch. Give me money. Ow. Only babies. There he is. <sighs> funny internet man looks also funny IRL. Ikarium, thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you very much. I'm not <laughs> threatening anybody. This is a threat. All right, the disco shell. Uh. Be careful what you wish for, Beach Mouse. Beach, Beach Mouse. Six inch, six inch, six inch, beach mouse, beach, beach mouse, see such six inch, Moby Dew, six inch, six inch, bitch mouse, beach, beach mouse, see such six inch, six inch, six inch. I'm terrified. Papa. 
<laughs> Sorry. Baby's in my office. Uh, to the filter, thanks for 27 months. Moby Do, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Uh, oh, God. What fresh hell have I landed myself into? How many times do I have to teach you maths? Today's your day. Uh. Oh no, no. Exterminator, thank you for five dollars. gonna carry me <laughs> uh this is really a, this is such a good level oh my god this level is so cool only up bean edition this is a really good level dude Terminator, thank you for $5. Thank you to the filter for 27 months. Appreciate that. It was really fun. It's a really, it's a really fun level, yeah. It's very fun to play. It almost feels like uh, the movement, it's like, imagine if Meat Boy was really sticky. <laughs> like no momentum. It's sticky Meat Boy <laughs> is what it feels like. You have a lot of air control and air momentum, but uh, you stick on everything. Oh, oh, bullshit. <laughs> it controls pretty well. Yeah, it's definitely like some weird. There's definitely weirdness for sure, but uh, promo. Thank you for the 21 months. Thank you, promo. Anybody else hungry? I'm the only one. Anybody else starving? I'm hungry. Hungry for beans. Oh, wait, wait. That part's hard. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. My bean. Leave my bean alone. Oh. Demonious, thank you for seven months. Nusper, thank you for 500 bits. Thank you very much. How'd you mess up that easy part? I don't know what it what it looks like this controls like, but uh, 
controlling the bean is uh, a thing for sure. That thwomp part, I think I get hit like every time right there. So thank you for 22 months. Thank you very much. Do I pick the book? So what I do is I pick eight books of different genres and then chat votes without knowing what the books are based on the genres. Um, and that's how it works. So I've chosen the eight books. All eight books are books that I've never read. They're all books that I've never read, never seen. Uh, they've either, like, they were either recommended, or I've heard of them, or something. Oh, man. Why is this so difficult? Yeah, I couldn't see where I was going. Not done with the beans. Beans ain't done yet, boys. Ah! Shit, man. <laughs> Thank you for the th two months. Thank you, Dust.
Why'd you spill your beans, Tommy? Why'd you spill your beans? Ah, oh, beans are a great sprite. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Do I like the sack? The sack's been very fun. Having a really good time with this. Oh my god, that part, man. I don't know what to fucking do on that part, dude. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do on that part, man. Son of a bitch. I have no idea what to do on that one, man. There have been a couple of pretty long levels. There have been a couple. I don't know if I feel like this one's too long. I love the concept. It's really fun to play. The whole hack, the, the theme of the hack is beans. Uh, it's been a really, like, don't let that fool you. This hack has been really, really cool. Oh my god. Did I Did I die? Because at the, I was at the end of the level. I jumped right there and I fell through the green bean. Is that really? <laughs> uh that was that was a really funny level. That was a really good level. You know, I feel like I haven't played a, a really funny level like that. I feel like the last really funny level I can remember was from OMH. It was like the rolling head level. I feel like this was like the funniest level I've played like since then. That was a good level for sure. Yeah, the, you remember the rolling head? That one was really, that level was really good. I thought you were at the top of the flight but didn't realize you were part of it. Yeah, I'm literally the bean. Yeah, the Mario head level. Uh, OMH was, uh, it had some good stuff. It had some kind of mixed stuff overall. Um, but it, it wasn't all bad for sure. There once was a beautiful beach. So, um, this is like, like the red means it's a Kaizo level is what it means. So like the red is, uh, but honestly, I feel like the Kaizo stuff isn't even that hard. Like it, the Kaizo stuff in center doesn't necessarily mean it's like that much harder. Yeah, I've been, I've been enjoying this entire hack. Been enjoying literally the entire hack. So. 
Uh, I like March of the Plumber from Yump. Was that Yump 1 or Yump 2? I don't remember. Um, Death Water? So it looks like then I have to kill the fish so that the fish lands on the on off. Um, I think, or is it just like, wait, it's just like jump off the beans. No, so the fish has to go to the right, right there. But I say that's a good hack for beginner. I think this hack's probably a little too hard for beginners. It's a really fun hack, but I think beginners would really struggle on this one. It's bean water. What the fuck was I supposed to do there? I think it's just it's just too difficult for I think it's just too difficult if you're new. Oh, uh, I have to like So what's the point of the star? I have to like lure him up there to open that up, I guess. I'm not really sure how that works. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do there. Am I excited for Rise of the Ronin? Yeah, I'm really hoping Rise of the Ronin's good. Hopefully it's good. Yeah, I'll put this on YouTube. Okay, I'm not sure what to do here. So, as soon as he spawns, he goes to the right, he goes up, and then he kills himself. Uh, it's got good reviews in Japan. Uh, hopefully it's good. We played Rise of the Robots. Now you guys, now you guys make me want to play Neo. <laughs> I want to turn on Neo 2 right now. I think he's running from me. Let me see. What if I just go here? What on earth does it want me to do? Hmm, I don't get it. If you stick left with the fish, go back down. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. What do I do here? Can you push the switch? Well, if you go in there and you see the one ways, if I go in there, I can't get out. I'm stuck. Hmm. Oh, okay. I okay. I think I maybe I have an idea. I have an idea. That's an idea. I've got an idea. I lure him here. That's it. Okay, I got it. I got it. And then right there, then I do a big jump up and then get all the way over there. Okay. Is there a glitch when you have star power related to Rip Van Fish? Oh, I don't remember. I don't, I don't know. There might be. Or I guess Star Starfire just scares them away in vanilla. Let's see the one from the odd sand scrater. You can still get an upgrade. What up? What are you talking about? Like chat, there's like five different conversations going on. <laughs> I'm I'm lost. Okay, uh, I ran out of star power. Um, hmm. 
Wait, are the beans? Oh my God, the beans are different colors, aren't they? Is that what's going on? Oh. The beans are different colors, aren't they? I see. Yeah, I didn't I didn't see it. <laughs> they don't listen, jump team, if you're out there, you don't have to change it. It's just my fucking colorblind ass. Don't worry about it. It's just me. Same as usual. I just can't see shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm colorblind. Uh Ja H2O, thank you for 10 months. Thank you very much. We forgive you. Just my fucking colorblind ass. Uh, gymnast, thank you for 31 months. Happy Hope Day, Barb, and Chat Barb Mario. Yeah, what day is it? Is it? It's Tuesday, right? It's not, when, it's not Wednesday, is it? Tuesday? Only Tuesday. Okay, I was like, wait, is it fucking is it Wednesday? I was confused for a second. I'm being I'm being gaslit. You were looking at those monochromatic glasses. I've heard that those are first of all, no. Uh well, I know of them. Uh people have actually offered to buy those for me. And I've actually I've said, you know, instead, why don't you uh I guess that, that that's this is just re refreshing it over and over. I said I would rather, like, if you wanted to do that, like, go donate and something. Don't do it for me. I, I, I'm not going to wear them all day on stream. I'm not going to do that, so. They're an actual hoax. Yeah, I see that this one is yellow and that bottom one is yellow, yeah. They're actually So how are they a scam? They don't do shit. They just have paid actors pretending. Really? They might help you a little if you wear them for months. Honestly, you know what? I, you know, I, col color normies are some of the most insufferable people because they're like, eh, it's actually not gray. It's a, it's more of a chartreuse. It's more of a, it's a burnt ochre. Like, ah, fuck off with them. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't, we know, I don't want to be one of you color normies. All right. I'll pass. Thank you. It's, a, it's actually more of a sea foam. Uh, okay, so right there, I think what the goal was there is I uh, I don't want to kill. I just want to kill one of the ur urchins. Chartreuse sea foam. It's, uh, it's more of a, uh, a burnt amber sort of color. Hate color normies. Now in my world, green, red, black, blue, white, orange, not like fucking, oh, well, more, it's not green, it's sea foam. Mm, yes, yes, obviously. Bullshit. The shark rusty, notes of eggshell. Part sniffers. You know, it's funny. Right before the babies were born, Katie, Katie was like, "Oh my god, I gotta paint the nursery. I gotta paint the nursery." So she's like, "I finally painted the nursery. I finally painted it." I'm like, "Okay." She's like, what do you think? I go in. And I'm like, "It's the same color. <laughs> I can't, don't see any difference. I don't see any difference from the wall before it. Like, don't never ask me. I, I literally could not see a difference. I was like, it looks exactly the same." Um, okay, so just YOLO forward and then kill the one urchin and then spin jump your way back. Is that it? I'm a little confused there. How does she take that? Her the, the usual way. Just felt like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, she, I, you know, she does whatever she wants. 
Do whatever you want, but don't expect me to even notice. <laughs> Just never expect me to notice it. Confused here. I'm not sure what to do right there. Not sure. Faster. I'm not. I'm not trying to kill the urchins. Hmm. Notice me. Hello, Q Branch. Hello. How are you? Good afternoon. Uncle was colorblind and I had to tell him the light was red or green. You know that the lights are like the top one is the red one and the bottom one's the green one? You could have just done that. <laughs> Who the hell are you? For you, bruh. You can just fuck with you. Those things that didn't happen. What happens when it's sideways? See, that urchin over there blocks me, right? And then, okay, so it's under, under, so that was right, and then right there, I spin jump to the right on the urchin. Okay, that, I got it, I understand that. That's what I do, got you. Is your experience of Rebirth any any better than your experience of the remake? Uh, I mean, honestly, I played two hours of it, and about an hour of that was cutscenes, so... I don't really feel like I have an opinion on Rebirth. Um, I'm not a Final Fantasy 7 guy, so like, I think for I, I think for a lot of people when they play Final Fantasy 7 the remake and Rebirth for them it's like this ultra and and stop me if I'm wrong, I think it's like this ultra nostalgia trip like oh my god like they're recognizing all the places they were in the game they're recognizing all the music they understand the the boss fights. Like they, they, they understand all of these things because they're all from the main game, right? And for me, I'd never play, like I only played the original once. I didn't love the original. So all of that, all of that charm is completely lost on me. Like it just doesn't work on me. So for me, I look at it without any nostalgia, zero nostalgia, zero, like I love all this. And it doesn't have the same effect on me as it does on somebody who's like, you know, Cloud is like their favorite video game character of all time. You know, it just doesn't really work the same on me. In fact, it doesn't work at all on me. <laughs> so. There we go. Okay, so now we have to go back and get the mushroom. I want to spin. I think I want to spin here again, right? Well, I don't think I wanted to spin. I think I want to get the thing. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Cool. A little awkward. A little puzzly. Pretty cool, though. You got your account back. Hey, what's up, Gay For Real? How's it going, man? Glad you got your account back, dude. 
Uh, nostalgia mind. Now, like, now let's say, let imagine a different universe where we lived in a world where instead of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and Remake, we got an Ocarina of Time style game, right? And like, like they redid and reimagined all of Ocarina of Time. That would probably work on me because I have insane nostalgia for Ocarina of Time. So that would probably be like the inverse of that. And then people who had never played Ocarina of Time but had played Final Fantasy VII, they'd probably be sitting here and being like, meh, meh. They'd probably be under the same situation, so. I just don't have that nostalgia for Final Fantasy VII. So I have to use the star to scare him into that one. And then it has to run off and then I have to lure him back this way. Hmm, that looks fucked up. Interesting. Okay, I see. Remake Chrono Trigger. What could go wrong? I have zero nostalgia for Nintendo, tra Nintendo trash, so fuck them all. Yeah, I mean, you know, this nostalgia, when, when nostalgia doesn't work on me, I, 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 you know, just haven't played the game. Don't really care for Final Fantasy VII. Mm, let's not talk about how Gay Friel got banned because every time it's ever happened, every time people get banned by this, I warn people nonstop not to do it. And then they do it, and then be like one thing like, okay, but then they go on Discord and get mad at me. Even though I'm sitting here and warning you, don't do it, don't do it. Then the last time, literally the guy on Discord was like, oh, I think it's pretty unfair how Barbara's King and his mod did this to me. Like, like, like we were the ones that fucking did it. So you know what, we're not even gonna talk about it anymore. We're not even gonna fucking talk about it. Yeah, somebody got mad. Somebody got mad at me for like, I don't understand. I don't know how you could possibly, it's like, I feel like it's like that stove is hot. Don't touch that stove. That stove is hot. Be careful. If you touch that stove, it's going to hurt. And then you take your hand and you go, oh, oh why? Oh, like I fucking told you, idiot. Like, I literally told you. Right, got it. I told you. Don't put your hat. How could you? I know, right? Point of advice. You can safely kick a shell while having star power if you have no horizontal speed. <sighs> oh, God. What am I looking at? Snakey, baby. Hi, Snakey. Mm. So, star green bean, right? And that's a normal green bean, right? Is that a normal green bean on the right? I can't tell. A normal one? It is, okay. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't see what's going on there. I have figured out this part at least. Mm, never mind. Yeah, I'm not sure. It was fine. I noticed all the friends of the, the remake is trash and not play Rebirth because Nomura's talentless couldn't write himself out of a paper sack. Is this Morsel? I would say that this does not feel like Morsel to me. But uh, I've been wrong before. I'm going too fast.
So I think what I have to do is I have to kill those. I can't let those hit. I have to kill those, right? Okay, so then I do that. Then I do this. And then, like, I do something like that, I think. And I have to get through something kind of like that, I think. Uh, people are acting like it's all Nomura fault. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know much about it. Um, I'm not particularly interested overall. Damn it. You get the hitbox now? That cow is disguised as a cat. He's such a good boy. Yeah, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because uh, I'm not going to talk about the way people get their accounts banned uh, because people do it every time. And I'm just not going to talk about it anymore. It's not worth it. Uh, I think the text box said you can still throw an item with a star if you have uh, if you have uh, if you have zero momentum. So if you're just standing still. Well, I care when they start fucking getting mad at me like I was the one that banned them. Then then I actually do get annoyed. Okay, I'm doing that wrong. What the fuck? It's tempting to touch the stove. Damn it. Uh, falling outside. Thank you for the resub. Thank you very much. Okay. I think we got that figured out. I had to make sure that I think the shell touched the on off, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Barb is 12. The one man Twitch orbital ban cannon. Still wasn't meant to be touched. Why is it red like that? Why is it red like it's interactable? You guys ever get a weird craving for a game? We got a weird game. I had a weird game craving the other day. What was your, what's your weird game craving? All the time. I think the weird, during the uh, Elden Ring, that's not a weird craving though. Uh, Bloody Roar, DKC2. I feel like these are normal cravings. These are just good games. Mario Sunshine, Catch the Attack. Age of Empires 2. Yeah, well, you guys are you guys are naming a lot of good games though. I think I think the uh, the week of Mario gave me like I was like a with the weird cravings. I was like a pregnant woman. Like all, every game sounded good to me. <laughs> but uh, the game I was craving like a couple days ago was like I don't know if I was like on Twitch or something like that. I saw somebody playing Resident Evil 8. I was like I can play Resident Evil 8. That sounds pretty fun. I totally play Resident Evil 8 right now. <laughs> Like, I didn't really like Resident Evil 8 that much, but I was like, yeah, I could go for some Resident Evil 8. It must have been like, I think it was the Mario Marathon that made every game sound awesome to me. Like, how can I actually really play some Resident Evil 8? Yeah, it's okay. I mean, Resident Evil 8 is fine. Uh, that is Star Wars Demolition, I think. Star Wars Demolition. Don't play the DLC. Oh yeah, the Resident Evil 8 DLC was like truly bad. It was like actually, the, the base game of Resident Evil 8 is fine, but the, the DLC was awful.
Uh, did you play Star Wars version of Major Map? No, I've never done that. Tarnish, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you, Tarnish. Appreciate that, dude. Uh, you know what I want to do is I want to play. There's a mod of Resident Evil 4 called like the Berserker mod or something that makes Resident Evil 4 like way harder, apparently. Kind of want to play that, actually. Sounds like a good time. Too hard. Was anybody, everybody try it? The Berserker mod's pretty nuts. Sounds amazing. What about the Resident Evil 2 remastered new camera? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that at all. You ever get sick on Super Mario hacks? Never, dude. I can just play these all for the rest of my life, man. I love them so much. They're my favorite thing of all time. Berserker is well done. Neo doesn't even like it that much, but I always find myself wanting to go back and try it again. Dude! Do you like Super Mario Maker games? What does that mean? Oh my god, that part. Cheers, Barb. Uh, Easteros, thank you late. for the 19 months. Thank you, Easteros. Appreciate that. Are you going to play the games where we're locked in the Mario Marathon? No, I was just lying and stealing your money. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's, uh, it's funny, right? I thought it was funny. He finally admits it. Get him! Uh, I think I somehow did that right. Uh, somehow did that right. What's up, Jolton Gambler? How are you, dude? take a hit i have to not kill the top one somehow wow i didn't even think about that jolpen yolpen I, I don't know how to pronounce it oh my god jolpy jolpen gambler damn it dude uh you need the mushroom to break through the uh yellow block Damn it, dude. It is pronounced Yolpin. I'll try to remember. Okay. So, can you, um... So now I have to take a hit. And oh boy. Okay, I don't know what is going on here. I didn't want to do that. 
<laughs> I think I needed to keep... I think I needed to keep one alive, I think. I think I needed to keep a poison mushroom alive is what, what it was. Yeah, that's what it was. I needed to keep one alive. God damn it. I'm just gonna... I keep making all the wrong decisions. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, we're getting better. Okay, take a hit. I am a jackass. <laughs> I'm a fucking jackass. <laughs> I knew it. Brain fart. You suck, you jackass. It's fair. Damn it, dude. That part is... Getting that little jump right there is so hard. I haven't had lunch. break. No lunch. Two PM. No lunch. Eat the cow. He does look tasty. Snakey burger. No, I saw the thing and I was like, I gotta hit that for some reason. Like, it's it was more like a monkey sees. He sees activity. Neuron activation. Hey, GG. A uh, really cool level. Another really cool level. They've honestly, like, every level I played today was really fucking cool. They were all cool levels. Another good one. So that brought me in a circle. It was a Kevin level. Another very cool level. It didn't feel like a morsel style level to me. I didn't think it was morsel. You call it a neuron. Even the, yeah, even the, the one, uh, let's see. I think it was this level. This level was a little frustrating, but uh, it wasn't that bad. It was mostly like a really, uh, a big skill issue on my part. But there was, uh, honestly, every level today was really cool. Every level today was very fun.